Hi, my name is Doug from West Jordan, Utah. My question is, if the Savior had already suffered for the sin, the pain, and sickness of the world in Gethsemane, why then did he also have to endure the additional torment of death through crucifixion? Was there any particular reason he was subjected to this agonizing means of death, or could any other way still have satisfied the demands of justice and the atonement? Thank you. A lot of times we think about Christ on the cross and sometimes maybe we try to separate what happened on the cross from what happened in Gethsemane. I've heard a lot of people say something like, well, Jesus overcame spiritual death. He suffered for our sins in Gethsemane. And then separately, he overcame physical death on the cross. Mm -hmm. Elder Gerald Lund called that a doctrinal error. Okay. And he said that doesn't appear in scriptures. In fact, recently in General Conference, President Nelson said, I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but he says that everything that Christ experienced in Gethsemane was intensified on the cross. Sometimes what people will say is, what's really meaningful to me is Christ experiencing my pains, and that happened in Gethsemane. And I think from what President Nelson is teaching, whatever we're thinking about happening in Gethsemane is intensified on Calvary. And so this feelings of loneliness, abandonment, God, why have you forsaken me? Sometimes in our lives, when we feel forsaken, you know, we can remember this moment as well on the cross as Jesus feels utterly abandoned, but continues to atone for us. And I, I love that idea that Jesus did not give up on us on the cross, and so he is not giving up on us today. Now, I think that, the, again, these multiple levels where um, it is a fulfillment of scripture, prophets in both the Old Testament and the Book of Mormon have looked ahead and seen that, that Christ would be pierced for our transgressions. But it happened at a particular place at a particular time because the Romans used crucifixion as a public means of execution for people who were, were, were threats to the empire. But the point is that he is taking our place. He represents us. And so the fact that he not just suffers, but that he dies cut off from God. And so this feeling of separation Part of it was there because when we separate ourselves from God, we die spiritually. And without him, that would be our, eternally be our, our state. But because he died in our place, cut off from God, that we can be freed and we can be brought back and we don't have to be separated. And so we can, we can know that we're not alone because he did die alone for us.